All right, Pat, here we are. Uh, strange times. So let, let's, let's get the update big picture and then we can talk some sports a, a little bit. But thanks for taking the time to do this. And uh, what, what are you talking to coaches about? What's the athletic department protocol right now? What's going on? Well, we've been in daily communication with, um, with as a senior staff, but really with the Pac-12 conference. Uh, we've had daily, I mean, since Las Vegas. I mean, can you imagine, uh, what was it, eight days ago we were in Vegas or, or we, were, we, were, we woke up in Vegas eight days ago and how much the world has changed. So uh, obviously we're, we're, we are, you know, we have so many constituent groups. Um, how they govern us is how, what we have to follow, whether it's federal, state of Washington, uh, NCAA, Pac-12. Uh, we, we have shut down all uh, organized team activities for Washington State at least through April 2nd. We've actually sent um, a correspondence out to our student athletes last night really just letting them know that uh, if, if they, um, you know, we're encouraging them to, to stay at their permanent residence uh, as the semester starts next week. Uh, we've gone to online slash distance learning uh, for the remainder of the semester. Um, we want to be, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll communicate with our student athletes if there's an appropriate time for them to think about coming back to campus. But at this time, really our main focus is what can we do to be great citizens? What can we do to help flatten the curve? Um, what can we do to help educate and be leaders in this space? Uh, but it's, it's unique times, challenging times, uh, but it's, it's, it's always nice because when adversity hits, you see how strong an organization is, and this is really a reflection of President Schultz, is the level of communication, the high-level leadership going on uh, allows us to get information and make decisions best for our student-athletes and uh, for our head coaches, and just seeing how our coaches respond. I mean, our coaches are more wired in a way where the only questions – the biggest questions that came up are what can we do to help? What can we do to support Pullman? What can we do to, um, you know, to be at the, be, you know, to be thought leaders in, in, in what's going on. So it's really reassuring to be a part of an organization and a team like this. It, it, this is so much bigger than sports. It, it makes you know, the nuts and bolts element of athletics not feel trivial, but everybody needs to be healthy and everybody yes. needs to be, we need to get everybody uh, together. But from a day-to-day -day perspective, are, are there workouts? Are, is the weight room open? What are the football players doing if they are here? Can they get together? Are they in their dorms? What, what's, what's that like for players who are in their off season or, or for like the baseball team who was just sweeping Niagara not long ago. Yeah. So, um, well, to, so to put things in context, so we're in spring break this week. So every campus is a little bit different, uh, across the Pac-12. I think there's three, um, football programs in our league that have not even started spring ball us being one of them. I believe it's us, uh, Colorado and, uh, University of Washington. So ironically, um, three programs, three new head coaches, so we're all kind of in the mm. same boat as well. But uh, we've totally shut down this week out of respect to Governor Inslee's mandates that came out uh, last Sunday. Uh, we're, you know, we're really uh, – we're, our goal is to stay shut down for the duration of this month. Um, now, we're fully aware we've, we've been doing daily um, um, inventorying of who's coming – who's in Pullman, who's coming back to Pullman. Uh, like I said, we've been encouraging uh, our student-athletes to, to stay home. But – for the time being, all of our, we, we, we're, we've really kind of eliminated all face-to-face -face contact out of respect to social distancing. Um, it's been fun seeing our coaches jump on Zoom and try to figure out how to do uh, team meetings, position group meetings, face-to-face -face meetings, just connect. Uh, probably the most, thing, most important thing for us as an athletic department is just stay connected with our student athletes, whether it's Zoom, phone call, text messages, group text, uh, whatever, the, whatever the, the, the virtual vehicle is that our coaches are willing to do it. But, um, you know, I will tell you this, if, if probably the hardest, really the thing that probably when it crystallized for me, what was happening is you get back to Pullman uh, baseball and you, and you're with our, you were with our baseball program as much as any program uh, for where we're at last year and how that year, how, how the year ended to see how much that program just poured their hearts and souls into um, September, October, November, and they got off to a really good start. And you know how competitive our student athletes are. It's, it's like you look back on the year and soccer kind of reset the bar of what excellence looks like at Washington State. And we're in a unique place when it's a quote unquote down year for football and we make a bowl game. Uh, and then, and then I, you know, I, I could see baseball looking at basketball and say, all right, you guys got that thing going, you know, let's try to one up you. And, uh, you know, to have to look at that team and tell them, hey, we're done. So it, I know it's, it's not, you know, it's not what you guys signed up for, but this is where we're at in the world today. So 
uh, everyone needs to go home and go to their spaces. That was a, that was a tough, I mean, it was tough. I, you know, uh, coach green called a meeting over the weekend and I, I, you know, actually what got me was just looking at AJ block, knowing that he chose to come back. Uh, he got drafted. Uh, here's a, here's a young man that does everything the right way. Engineering major close to a 4.0. Um, and then for him to have this ending, uh, to his senior year, uh, it's, it's, it's a tough bill for everyone, but we're going to have to figure out what we're supposed to learn from all this and grow and get better. And like anything in life, use this as an opportunity to be, become uh, better citizens and take some learning lessons. How much are you in contact with the other athletic directors or athletic departments in terms of what they're doing and what the rest of the pack, for instance, is doing? So we have a daily, we've had a daily call. Uh, we had, um, we all left Vegas. We kind of had a, a impromptu face-to-face meeting. Uh, last Thursday in Vegas, and everyone kind of went their separate ways. Uh, we've had daily, we've had a daily phone call every morning since. Uh, I've had some uh, um, with, with with ADs. I've had relationships with just to kind of uh, benchmark what they're doing, get some ideas from what they're doing. So I've had those conversations daily with with people I consider friends and friends in the uh, industry. But uh, the Pac-12, uh, to, you know, and that's that's to the credit of our conference. I mean, they've. Uh, they, they, they've set up, they've set us up in a, in a systematic way in which we're having morning contact. So, uh, and it's, it's really important more than any other time that we're all kind of stay on the same page as we go forward because there's so much unknown out there. Sure. It, it, uh, in a, from a sport perspective, it, you alluded to it before I asked that. That's the best basketball game that team had played <laughs> all year yeah. with, with, and with all the injuries and ups and downs. Yeah. And it's, it's like peaking at the perfect time. Yeah. You know, and, and I don't know if Kyle made these comments to you, but before the game, uh, actually, when we got to – actually, after we left – after the first – when I saw him after everyone got back from Arizona, we were in Pullman, and he said something clicked. And I don't know if he said that to you before the game, but he said that to me. He's like, God, something clicked in – and what was our last game? Arizona State was our last game. Yeah. He said something clicked at Arizona State. He's like, he's like uh, uh, we're going to make a run in this tournament. And then you see us come out. Uh, and play our best game of the year, and uh, uh, you could see, I mean, what great coaching does. And, and one, I don't want to, like, one, give credit to Boba for putting all that work and trying to refine a game where he could play at this level that all of a sudden at the time we needed the most, he shows up. And then to get Jeff Jeff back, even one-handed Jeff Pollard is better than no Jeff Pollard uh, yeah. seven days a week. And um, that, I mean, it, it's good and bad. It, it, it's, it's, um, you know, you'll, the last couple of years, we've, we've ended those seasons, and it's like, oh, thank God the year's over. And it's good, although it's not the end that we wanted because we won, and we wanted to see how good we're going to how far we're going to go in that tournament. But uh, at least everyone is excited. Everyone wants more. Our team really believes, hey, we, we were about to do a magical run. There's not a – I don't know if there's a guy on that team that thought um, – that didn't think this was going to go for a couple – we're going to be in Vegas for a couple of days. Yeah, it, I mean, Mark Ivetsky, and then you could see from game one to game 32, a, a, a pretty consistent, you know, maybe the, the line went like this, but a pretty consistent upward trend. You know, it's not always just a perfectly straight line, but yeah. a, a real tightening of the concepts and the, the culture built in. And I, it, it, fair to say, I mean, this team is way better than non-conference Washington yeah. And you, you've been there. You, you've been around them more than me. But just to see, I mean, it, it is so. Um, what and I'll we'll, we'll have plenty of time to rehash and talk about the year. But, but man, it, it makes your you know it's a great reminder of what's great about college athletics. If you you get, uh, and this is really a testament to Marvin, Jazz, Gervais, CJ, and Jeff, the guys who came back. Is all right. These guys bought into a totally new system, a total new culture, a total new environment. They, all five guys went all in. And what you have is one of the best turnarounds in school history and in, in college basketball this year. And, 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 and even, even you'd have to, you, I mean, it, it's nice. And obviously I'm a Washington state homer, but you look and say, Hey, if we could have stayed healthier throughout the year, which is injuries are part of it. Um, that's why we peak where, you know, if we were peaking at the right time, that's fantastic. But what that team did and what that coaching staff did this, did this year, just to, um, just to reinvigorate Washington state basketball. I, I tell you one of the proudest moments I've had, in two years at Washington State, and we've had a ton of them here, is uh, when Jeff and Gervais left that court their senior night and kissed that logo. Yeah. I mean, that that is that that to pour that much into it and to walk out of there and and, and that logo and this experience means so much to you. That that that's how you celebrate it. I mean, that that's powerful stuff. And that that those things like as as we're going through whatever we're going through right now, it's thinking about that basketball program gets you fired up again. You mentioned April second and and 
I, I, that's maybe a little bit early than is realistic to, to really yeah. get the, the gears turning again, but that's what everybody's trying to latch on to is like, okay, yeah. let's flatten the curve, let's tamp it down. And then, you know, ho hopefully we, we get to start the gears turning again. Yeah. And, and we're, we're, and, and that was kind of the, we know how competitive our student athletes are and our coaches are. So that's why all our communication to them has been, Hey, that's a date, but it's a date that we're going to look at as a date that we're going to communicate hopefully well before what our plans are. But we have, it is nothing more important for, for Washington state, uh, the state of Washington, uh, our country and the globe really to just flatten that curve and do that part. And uh, everyone, especially these, these, the weeks we're in right now, everyone just make a point to, to, to just isolate themselves and make sure that uh, they're the, that we're doing all the things that the CDC and the, and the, uh, the governor Inslee is asking us to do. Yeah. In trying to be responsible citizens, it is, born the opportunity to use technology to do something like this yeah. so yeah. thank you for the time this is a it's great thank you for making yourself available and i i'm really glad that we could do something like this maybe talk to some coaches over the next few weeks also yeah yeah we got a bunch of coaches that are going to be amped up to uh to at least talk to somebody yeah <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i have no academic duty at home like i i, I get the sense i was a phone i was on uh, i was on the phone with kyle smith yesterday and all of a sudden uh, i hear him scream Oh, uh, cause he's like, I guess Bo got away from him. So, and I, I think he's like me, we have no academic rigor at home. We have no academic duties. Ours are all activity based and social based. So our wives know better <laughs> than to do anything with us, uh, relative to, to, to school. Uh, so I think a lot, a lot of our coaches will be happy just to spend a little bit of time with Chaz, but, uh, and, and just thank all the Cougs out there for, uh, uh, be you know just just the year we've had the support they continue to give us. I know uh, the feedback I'm getting is hey all the Cougs want to, want updates and hear what's going on with athletics. So appreciate you, Chaz, making the time, and we'll try to get as many coaches and personalities out there in front of uh, on all of our uh, social media platforms. And I love it. I love it. Let's do it. About the Cougs. Let's do it. Love it. Thank you, Pat. Thank you very right. much. Go Cougs. Go Cougs.